Welcome to another Game of Thrones news update, where I take what I consider to be the most important Game of Thrones news from the past week and I share it with you. Warning, there are massive spoilers for season 8 of Game of Thrones, so if you're trying to stay spoiler free, I would get out of here now. Also, there's a giveaway at the end of this video. I'm always way more excited about giveaways than I think you guys are. I'm sorry. Starting off, probably not a shocker, but Winterfell will have a battle in Season 8. Besides just being a magnet for that sort of stuff, we know that the others have gotten past the wall and they're likely traveling faster than they have the past seven seasons. Pictures have been taken showing that Winterfell is getting a major upgrade. New battlements have been constructed on the outer wall of Winterfell, and what's crazier are the guard towers which are now physically built instead of being created with special effects. So Winterfell is preparing for battle and to defend itself, which hopefully they were actually making these preparations even before they learned the others got past the wall, but I guess we'll see. And Bran is going to figure it out pretty soon, either seeing that they've gotten past the wall or honestly, it's not going to be that hard to, to tell that the wall has been breached. The towers being physically built means we're going to get some major action on them and likely there's going to be a big battle at Winterfell or rather a siege and Winterfell is going to take damage yet again. Poor Starks. You guys just can't catch a break, can you? I am still hoping for the White Walkers to hit some other castles on their way down. I mean, I guess they could just hit Winterfell, but I don't know. They never seem like they're in that much of a hurry anyways. Why not hit a few other castles on the way? Next, get pumped because we are getting the Golden Company in Season 8. So we know Euron really didn't go back to the Iron Islands, but instead is heading to Essos to get the Golden Company for Cersei. Well, Mark Rissman has been casted as Harry Strickland, who you know is the leader of the Golden Company, to be in two episodes of season eight. Yeah, some of you doubted me when I said a few months ago that we were getting the Golden Company in season eight, so get wrecked. Downside is it's only two episodes, so they aren't going to have a huge role, or maybe he dies super quick. With how time is going to jump ahead quickly, maybe we meet him, he fights a little, and then next we know, He's dead. Kind of like the attack on Highgarden, where we don't see everything. But seriously, look at these photos. He looks like a leader of a badass mercenary company. Yeah, Harry looks way different in the books, but I don't know, I kind of like the idea of a Banff looking Harry in the show. And who knows, he may look like a total Banff in the show and be just like Harry in the books, have a similar personality. We don't know yet. But I would also like a tough looking guy that also is a badass commander that also likes to fight, so I'm okay with whatever direction they go with this character. Onward, a new set is being built next to Titanic Studios in Belfast. No idea what this new set will be used for, but it's going to be attacked. Probably with fire. Or maybe set on fire. Or maybe catches fire during the battle. I don't know. I still get excited about new sets, even if we don't know what they're going to be used for. Oh, and Kit Harrington cried after reading the ending for season eight. So does that mean Danny dies in his arms? That he watches his sisters be run through by the others? That he sees the Seven Kingdoms fall to the Night King? Or is this just a man that's super emotional about an eight plus year journey that's coming to an end? If we don't see most of the major characters dead by the end of the series, I'll be a bit disappointed. At the very least, The Seven Kingdoms needs to be in shambles. Next, HBO CEO told Variety that they have five spin-off projects in development by a number of writers, though not all five will be made, and that he has an embarrassment of riches and he is excited to move forward. Of course, he has to say that, but I'm looking forward to whatever they decide to do for a spin-off. Finally, Roy Dotrice, love audiobook narrator for the Game of Thrones books, who also played a pyromancer in the show, has passed away at 94. We will never forget his awesome voices, especially for the women, and how he'd change how he said certain names and places a bunch and randomly throughout the books. That guy's voice was just beautiful and so relaxing, just pure gold. Oh, and fun fact, he was going to be Grand Maester Pycelle, but due to health concerns, he had to drop out and just do the minor pyromancer role. But he would have been fabulous as Grand Maester Pycelle. 
George, a friend of Roy, made a beautiful post on his blog about the man. I'll link it below if you want to read it. So that is the news for this week. There isn't a ton, but that isn't surprising with the season eight lockdown. So let's end with a giveaway. For your chance to win a $15 gift card to Amazon, just like this video and answer in the comment section below, what is the stupidest and or silliest ending that Kit Harrington could be crying over? I'm going to say Danny giving birth to an actual dragon that has the head of Jon Snow. I will pick the winner and announce it next news video. I hope to do these news videos every Saturday or Sunday, even if there isn't a lot of information, just because I want to get into the habit of doing this every week and for people to expect it on the weekend. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and come back for more Season 8 news and other videos.